Today's podcast, we are highlighting LeBeau Excel. Our friend Matt LeBeau and his company and crew are people that can help you um, get across this lovely country ours. Uh, he brokers all brands, uh, health and beauty or supplements or natural health food type brands throughout the country. Well liked, well respected, well connected. If you're looking at somebody to get you into, into retails and help you avoid most of the pitfalls, uh, check them out. Uh, Matt LeBeau at LeBeau Excel, L-E-B-E-A-U. E-X-C-E-L dot com. I don't, I don't, I think we've talked about over the last couple of weeks, but I was going back and just looking at some of the, I don't know, some of the cool families and just coming to this, the cool friends and siblings and some are generational and some aren't and some are life partners and some are back to the friend. Like just, I don't know, we've had some, I don't know, we've had some pretty cool guests on just from different um different angles of life but just sort of collecting together like i like the family ones more than anything i think I, you know especially i love yeah. the immigrant family ones i just love yeah. those stories yeah. and, and pretty soon you know you know it's gonna be cool we might have an indigenous one come on and it's then yeah. you bring in elders and yeah. you know a thousand years of culture and like all this just i don't know just i don't know these stories are just this podcasting is pretty cool phil <laughs> i kind of like these stories Hey, so um, we're back. Our, our fast thought today is around, as you just heard Kenny kind of roll into this. Is, is that what we're we, doing? We, um, yeah, that's what we're doing is, oh, is we're good. riffing about um, we're the, different, uh, the different kinds of families and things like that. Like we, um, we, we have, we, we've been talking about, um, you know, kind of lists and lists and lists of, of people that we know um, that are amazing. Like I, I think the ones um, we've had some that we really love that we've talked about, like uh, Rattan and his family. Uh, we had a lot of fun with uh, Randy, Randy, and um, his dad. you know, and, and his dad um, and, and oh the whole God. here, get a broom and effing get out on the floor. Um, Kenny and I uh, do some work with La Grotta del Formaggio and Dom mm -hmm. and his family. Um, but then like, there's some, you know, the more we riff about it, the, the amazing, amazing, uh, folks out there like the Leahy's, right? Alicia and Jeff, um, and what they do with humble chips, right? Like the, they're, they're like this power couple, right? Um, that just kind of like they work together, they play together, they raise a kid together and they're together. Like <laughs> that's tough, man. Um, that's a lot of together. Well, you got, and then you got like <laughs> Sheena and Andrew Russell, right? That do made with local that do the same right. thing. Uh, Will and Shoshana Routley, um, and their kombucha business. Um, there's, um, um, uh, um, oh my gosh, my favorite, uh, uh, Brian and Neha that run switch grocer, um, and, and like what they do, right. Like as couples, and then you're going to hear, um, like, you know, there's, there's another couple, um, Kristen and, and Peter, uh, that does, um, Tom and Sawyer that do the same thing. Right. So like lots of couples, um, Avi and Benny from, um, Karma. I mean, the thing uh, is, it's funny. So you, it's funny how you see so you gravitate yeah. more times to the couples, and I think I, do, um, I know you, it's funny. And then yeah. I think, see if I bring um, and okay, this this no disrespect to Binnie and Avi because I love the two of them, but it's their dad, right? That's the part that I love. And if I talk yeah. about like you know, because you know I've known the Ferreros for years, yeah. right? You know, so Danny, James, and David are still really involved in the business. Yeah. But I remember Jimmy and yeah. and their you know Aunt Esther and Aunt uh, and, and Nella in the store. Like, do you know what I mean? See, for me, it's yeah. always like it's always funny. Like, I I kind of go on the um I don't know for lack of better, like far dad and his mom. I like the up and down. Yeah. yeah, like I like the ones. And it's and funny. It's and like, his family. Exactly. Right? It's yeah. these it's these ones that 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 start from one generation. Or that's I I can't wait to have Ian on, um because now we're going back many generations of of culture and and family and and yeah. sort of yeah. the way things are done like I, I you know i mean i love far that story what you know his mom comes here and she's looking around thinking what's the matter with you people how do you this is this is how you yeah this yeah. is how you do yeah, yeah. you know hair removal like with yeah. with this chemical shit there's so much natural like well, seriously it's awesome and then and then to that point, right? You're right, though. And but but to your point too, like so, we have one coming up. 
uh, in probably about four weeks with Thrive. And another one. Jeff, Jeff Ball was talking about his family and how he's a third generation. He's third. The kid, he's, and his son he's is, not a third generation farmer. He's a third generation agriculturally based. Right. Family. Because I think his grandfather yeah. wasn't in farming, then went into farming. Yeah. Then I think the dad did farming and maybe the ranching. Dad did farming and then it Some was ranching? Jeff who went into ranching. Was it Jeff that did? Okay, I can't yeah. remember. And then Jeff, did Jeff the went into like um wagyu beef the wagyu i know oh, that was like not that even was, yeah. yeah but hang on but that was wasn't his dad yeah i don't know his, you, his we'll, we'll have to re-listen to the episode <laughs> i think his and you dad guys will be able to listen to the episode oh too, i mean but, but honestly but, but um, again it's just this it's i just love how these see that's me to me it's just funny and maybe it's because yeah. I, you know because I, when i when i grew up in trail and trails is it's all immigrants right and that's all we have well most yeah, of the yeah. country is immigrants yeah. except for the indigenous yeah. people who are here for you yeah. know forever but you know, you came or they came with pennies. Like sometimes a lot of the stories are accurate. Like, you know, they came with 50 bucks, 40 bucks. Yeah. You yeah. know, a hundred bucks if they were loaded. Yeah. And yeah. just started doing stuff. And a lot of them did what these people did, either work the land or um, you know, took odd uh, jobs and then just found ways maybe to bring the old country here. Yeah. Which is what far dads uh yeah mom did really right i mean that's what sort of where, her, where she came from yep. and if you listen to Lori jeffrey you know her mom and dad i think were from croatian i think they came from they were probably farming there brought it here so she grows up on a farm goes and does the ice cream you know all that cool stuff ends up back on the farm yeah well, right and like the, there are so many and there's some really interesting you think of the vander hayes and um yeah. you know and and what they're doing and 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 um you know like like Caitlin Vanderhey, you know, followed, saw what her mom she did. She grew up in that. Like, and, and Lorna had them do now, stuff, right? You know, and Lorna did something amazing. And now Caitlin's into something amazing, right? Yeah. And, and they're like, so anyway. Both industry think, leaders and thought people. Yeah. But look at the generations apart. Yeah. I think, I think the other thing, like Kenny and I, we just, we were kind of tuned to the industry. So we know February was kind of a tough month. March came and went because we're all going crazy. And then April has been nothing but nothing short of bonkers. Right. Yeah. And so when we started looking around, this stuff is just, it's inspiring, right? Cause these families and what they do and how they do it. The sort of they all um, make to, uh, to do things. Yeah. Right? I mean, I mean, just the, like how remarkable, right? Like either from, you know, most of us, you grow to eventually love your parents again, but there's, there's a whole middle period where there's a lot of yeah. friction, right? Like, yeah, from like <laughs> but, 12 but, to 20. Yeah. But, but you look at these and, and, and you hear the stories and then you realize like, like, like Dom and his family, there's like three generations of family working together. So it's not like you can, you know, like some, some of us that work regular jobs, you, you like be around family on weekends, you, you go to escape a regular work and office job right. on the right. weekdays where nobody in your family tells you what to do, but like Dom and, and Randy and Rattan, like for a long time, they're not escaping. They're, they're at home having family dinner and then they're going to work and still at the family, you know, you, you look at Rattan's like a 40 under 40, but he's got these elders telling him what to do at the office. Exactly. And then, <laughs> and then, it's you know, tough, now Randy's right? like, bringing his daughter in, Yeah, you know, we can make like yeah. it all to three generations because yeah. You know, Sandra's brought Olivia in. Like all of a sudden, like there's, you know. So if you walk yeah. in that store one day, you could see three generations in the store at one yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. And then we were talking. I think there's some, even some other ones. I think that we landed on as well. Like, but there's um, a list. Yeah, there is. There is. I mean, there's there's um, Andrew Kinnear and his wife. Well, right? there's but Natasha the... and her uh, her dad and two yeah. uncles, right? Yeah, that's three farmers. I think it was the dad and yeah. two uncles. Alicia, uh, not Alicia, Natasha. No, Natasha. Sorry, Natasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Like yeah. her. So you know that one. I mean, seriously, like it's crazy. And then, and then on the other side, like so, even on the agency side, you've got the Murray family. Um, oh yeah, with Blake I mean, and Justin Blake's and Brandon. Dad it, then Blake, right? then Brandon yeah. and Justin. And then the Marshams, there. right? The Marshams are in this thing. Exactly. You know, so it's just it's um. Anyway, I think I think the big thing was Kenny and I were we were talking about how many amazing families and couples and, um, you know, kind of generational families there are, um, you know, kind of working in our space. And 
just how amazing the dynamics are. So I think both of us were super stoked. Um, Thank you. And we thought, right you know, time was good. I, yeah. Yeah. And, and I think, uh, <laughs> I think, you know, maybe the industry needed a bit of shot in the, the arm too, right? Because we, we're all feeling a little. Uh, I think we're all tired. Know, I think we're all tired, right? So hopefully, hopefully this was inspiring. These are these are some pretty stories, um, cool folks on. Um, I Great think the story. other thing that um, we'd love to hear from you guys as you listen to this, if if there are other great family or couple stories, you know, kind of. I mean, we love entrepreneur stories. Period. Um, so if you hear amazing stories that we should be telling, please tell us. We'd also love um, more family ones as well. Uh, more I like ones, them. More. Yeah, I would too. I mean, we so really like yeah, within yeah. CPG retail, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. working, you know, uh, working the land and, and putting stuff into, I guess, our in, in our homes, you know, somewhere down the road. Like I just, yeah, I think it's, yeah. Just, it's just super yeah. cool, man. Yeah, it's pretty cool. inspirational. Anyway, this is our fast thought for the day. It might be the only one that we've honored at 10 minutes. Um, I think in the last, <laughs> in the last, no, no, we're at nine minutes and 44 seconds ish. Ooh, wow. That's a record. So, but, uh, right. but we, we normally go well over. So anyway, <clears throat> this is our fast thought. We, uh, we hope you have a wonderful Friday. Thanks for listening.